Hi, my name's Maya. Hi, my name's Eula. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the University of Oversharing. Actually, no, sorry, I'm thinking of a completely different song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you act like I'm not the best freestyler in the world. No, it's like it's a vibe, but we're angry about it. Yeah. I don't want to be living. That's ugly. They're freak. Say chic. Freak out. Oh, oh. When my carrier pigeons were a thing. Lecture four. An introduction to music. Music makes you lose control. Music makes you lose control. Settle in, motherfuckers. Oh, Maya, man, you're bloody wonderful. <laughs> Okay, I thought next door was <laughs> okay. You thought what? I thought next door was like reversing onto the drive, and I was like, of course he would pick now, just if we're about to start. He's actually our special guest for today. <laughs> Gonna get a Polaroid of him. Yeah, and add it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it took us forty-two seconds <laughs> to say hello. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> How are you today? I'm all right. Um. I'm really tired. I don't know why, I'm just like wiped. I, I think it's pollen count is making a lot of people blur. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm quite susceptible to hay fever. You are as well, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's. I get the tired bit. Yeah. I'm just tired all the time. Oh, same. <laughs> Off to a great start. I know, right? It's going to be nice, low energy, chill, peaceful podcast today. Yes. And how the fuck are you, babe? I'm good. I feel like my voice is sounding better than last time. I think so too, yeah. It's obviously still not 100%. Yeah. I'm sore as well because I, I did, I've been doing like Grace Fitz shreddy challenge. Oh yeah, you're telling me. And like the one yesterday absolutely killed me off. So <laughs> it was like abs and arms. Nice. So every time I move my stomach is like, <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> literally it feels like someone's like repeatedly punched my Abdomen. What's it like? What <laughs> Right, shall we find out what we're talking about today? Yeah, let's do it. Do you want to do the honours? Okay. Tap a Tap to spin. Dun dun dun. Go, look at all the colours. Dun 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 dun. Music. 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 Make sure you lose control. <laughs> oh, see, I went for Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> I went for that one TikTok song. When they're all dancing, music make sure you lose, lose control. control. Music <laughs> makes you lose control. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we did, um... I, we did a dance to that once when I was in a when I was in a dance troupe. We did a dance to that song. Interesting. I Actually, no. Sorry, I'm thinking of a completely yeah. different song. <laughs> <laughs> we did a dance to not that. <laughs> That's really disappointing. I know. I'm so sorry. Your hair looks really cute today, by Thanks, the way. Babe. Have you dyed it? Yes. Yes, I have actually. I topped up the pink. I thought it looked bright, and I was like, it looks so good. Thanks, man. Audio listeners, you're missing out right now. Do 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 do. Visual listeners, visual watchers. Visual listeners and audible watchers. Chin chin. <laughs> so, music. Mm. It makes the people come together. It makes you lose your mind. Mm. It mixes the bourgeoisie and the rebel. <laughs> it's boiling in here. I know, it's so hard today, it's insane. So, who are you listening to at the minute? Who are you liking? Who are you vibing with? Well, I played you that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've been listening to this song on repeat called No Cap, and it's by two artists called Blake and Miles mm-hmm. and I found them on TikTok of course of course they TikTok like queen over here they released like a TikTok video about how them their ex-manager said that they wouldn't get famous unless they signed to a record de- like label and no one would sign them rude by the <clears> way <throat> very rude so they made this song and then asked Gen Z to help out and of course <laughs> as Gen Z did Gen Z rises to the challenge every yeah. time so I've been like bopping along to this on repeat for about three days nice which is great we probably can't play it for you because of copyright yeah we definitely can't play it for you no. well we can I'm sure we can play it but we have to talk over it interesting I, I think that's a rule okay because it's what Cody Cohen TMG do well, I mean, you're the lawyer friend, so I'll yeah. take your word for it. Right, let's play it, and then we'll talk over it. Okay. Um, so we're just talking over it, and it's a really good song, and I hope it doesn't mess up the audio. I mean, it sounds um, fine. 
But yeah, it's a really good and really groovy. Yeah. And you'd be like, welcome to your summer holiday. Summer starts now. <laughs> we have 20 new singles ready to enter the villa. <laughs> Go to the UK top 40. <laughs> so yeah, that's just like a little segment of the song. We should freestyle over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Music. <laughs> You know what? Never mind. <laughs> that was freestyle. Okay, no, that was that was that was beautiful. That was fire. I don't know why you acted like I'm not the best freestyler in the world. Oh my bad. You know, my brother had this friend once who um, used to do freestyles based on things that people had in their pockets. So, like, he would start a freestyle and then people would take things out of their pockets and he would, like, rap about it, like, on the fly. That's so cool. I think that's pretty that's cool, too. That's a talent. Yeah. It's really hard to think of lyrics on the spot and then freestyle and you're, like, at even faster tempo. Yeah. So it's like, oh, my God, I can't keep up. You've done some of your own music, haven't you? You've, like, written your own shit. No, I haven't. No, not. you have. I remember you back in the day writing little yeah. tunes. I used to write a lot of music. In when I was in high school. That's so cool. Um, which is, it's disappointing because I want to do it now. Mm. And I've got all the equipment to do it, like a MIDI keyboard and like the right equipment on my laptop. Okay. Um, and I can play like several different instruments. Yeah, but I what just can you play? Sing. I know you can play guitar. Uh, so I learnt the flute for 15 years. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I've been playing it for 15 years and then I taught myself, oh, a bird. Wow. Yeah. It's just on there. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> we get loads of birds out here. <clears throat> and then I taught myself the piano the, and the guitar and the ukulele. Nice. Um, and then I could sing. Yeah, but then the voice thing happened. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't know. Like, some people are really into that whole kind of, like, raspy indie oh, vocal. I think you can make it work. Yeah, you think so. But I can't hit a single high note. Aww. It just, like, vanishes. There's, there's just no sound comes just out. Sing down to kill. Yeah, just go real yeah. deeply. Mm. Hello, everybody. Welcome to oh, the podcast. Oh, my. That's beautiful singing voice. Yes, thank you very much. And I don't know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I felt like I sounded a bit like Boris Johnson and it made me really uncomfortable. In the middle, control the virus and stay at home. <laughs> stay at home. Stay oh, my God. Night. Oh, my God. That's, that's the virus. virus. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, you're missing out. If you don't know, you're obviously not on TikTok. <laughs> you're not on the right side of TikTok either. <laughs> we have a course, we have a plan. Control the virus, if you can. Boom, boom, boom. I think I got the words wrong, but who cares? No one cares. It's, it's a good tune. Every time, I, this is my impression of Boris Johnson talking. Ask me a question. Like, ask me a politics question. Um, what do you think about Brexit? Well, I just think that. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very impressed with how good that was, you know. That's my party trick. It's a good party trick to have. Yours is doing an eyeliner really fast. <gasps> Mine is Boris Johnson impressions. Dream team. Oh. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> sorry, audience. Yes, yeah, sorry, everybody. <laughs> Especially people with headphones and are going to be like, ah! <laughs> Do you want to talk about festivals a bit? Because we've both been to music festivals before, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, I've only ever been to one. You went to Park Life, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was insane. Who was on that year? Um, why, why did I think of Jesse J instead of Lord? <laughs> <laughs> um, Lord, Pharrell, um, mm -hmm. Liam Gallagher. I'm not the biggest fan of him. No, he's a bit of a wanker, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. a musical. Like, I don't know, like, why does he just stand like... Uh, maybe like it's, bo <laughs> it's boring i'm sorry if anyone really likes him if a man tells you his favorite artist is liam gallagher run <laughs> <laughs> run do, do, do. <laughs> um who else i went with izzy yeah oh, churches were there oh they nice. were good um i just remember lord really yeah was she good live she was so good live oh, lush and then I wish I'd gone the year after because Khalid was there and he... I Oh, that would have been good. I'm in love with him. Yeah. But, um, You're also young, dumb and broke, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I mean, I am too. It's fine. Great. I don't want to be your girlfriend. 
so how about you? What festivals have you been to? Oh god, I have some I have a few funny festival anecdotes to share with you. I've been to I've been to Womad, I've been to Big Chill, which isn't a thing anymore, and I've been to Glastonbury four times. I am so jealous. <laughs> um so little rundown of some festival highlights. Um I've seen Muse twice. I've seen Dizzy Rascal twice. What the fuck? I was on TV when I was 10 dancing to Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> like wearing a fucking fedora, just like living my best life. <laughs> Little white girl in the crowd, like, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Um, anyway. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, I saw Florence and the Machine once and um someone threw a beer can full of piss at the back of my head. <laughs> so that's not ideal. Um one time the second time I was seeing Muse, um <clears throat> I've actually seen them three times because oh, I saw god. them in Manchester as well. Um but the second time that I saw them at Glastonbury, somebody lit up a flare like right next to my face. That's a really common thing at festival crowds is people lighting up flares. Did you know that? Yeah. I think I knew it, but you always forget how bad flares smell. Oh, I love that smell. I love, like, a firework smell, a flare smell, like a burny, like, I don't know, I just like that. Okay, you're interesting. Oh, that sounds... (coughs) Rona! (laughs) Don't keep saying this. (laughs) I love music in terms of, like, festivals and concerts. Yeah, it's such a nice vibe. Like, my first ever concert that I ever went to see was Coldplay in 2012. Aww. And I... I have also seen Coldplay. I think they're that's incredible. incredible. I think they're sick live. It was a great vibe. Like, I'm not their biggest fan in the world, but it was a great vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it was it was in some, somewhere down south. Okay. And, and it was absolutely pissing it down. Oh. And um, the piano got water clogged. Oh, my God. So they had to, like, change the piano halfway through the show. And all I can remember... <laughs> With the just spare piano that they had. They just brought out a new piano. And all I can remember is, like, the crowd. You know, in Viva La Vida, when it's like... Yeah. Well, the whole crowd, like this entire stadium, filled with people just singing that at the top of their lungs while they switched it out. And I was like, this is so great. I'm only 12. I don't understand what's going on. But wow! (laughs) But wow! (laughs) But (laughs) wow! I remember one time, um, me and my mates, we, yeah, we travelled down to Manchester to see Muse and we got there really early in the morning, we bought like snacks, we were sat at the front of the queue because we wanted to get at the front, we did get to the front, I I tried to, um, the drummer came down at one point and um, he was like shaking people's hands and stuff and I tried to reach his hand but I missed and I just kind of like caressed his arm. (laughs) I was like, hello. (laughs) But, um... Yeah, so we were outside and we could hear them sound checking and they were playing this song called Supremacy, which has this really high bit in it. And we were all kind of singing along. And How does it go? Oh, it's, so it's like, um, you don't have long, they will come for you. The time it has come to destroy. And then he does this really high bit, but like none of us could do it. So we were like, it has come to destroy your sin. <laughs> It's just like a crowd of 40 people having a voice crack. I can't sing. Audio listeners, visual listeners, I want to formally apologise. <laughs> I will make sure just that segment is auto-tuned. <laughs> Thank you so much. I got you. Thank you. Babe. I don't know how to do that, but I'll work it out. Oh, I have another funny festival story. So um, at the Big Chill, what they had was they had these... So what is the Big Chill? It was a festival down south. It was like a music festival, but they had other things going on. I remember they had this really cool cinema tent. And they actually, they had this building. This was really mad. Um, And I often dream about this building. It comes into my dreams. Um, Because you go in and it was all like sensory. So you went in in the dark and you had like these little torches on. And then they would like release like different smells, like fruit smells or like nature smells or whatever. And then there were some other things like there was a touch room where like the walls had different materials on, like some were soft and like some oh, were cool. lumpy and bubbly and stuff. <coughs> and then you got to the top and there was this really massive slide that took you like Whoa. back down to the floor. And that was awesome. And um, but yeah, they had these big bubble letters that said the big <coughs> chill. And then one day everyone, this section is not safe for work um, there's one day where the people got up in the night and they rearranged the letters so that it spelled the big clit and then um 
my younger brother was there and I don't know how old he was at the time I think he was like eight or something oh, and he turned to my mum and he was like what's a clay and then everyone all around was like wait <laughs> tell him what a clay is <laughs> that's another festival that's story that's such a great like fuck's sake situation yeah for sure for sure oh god no well me and Izzy went to see um Lewis Capaldi and Dermot Kennedy, like I have loved them since they first released like their first pieces of music. Nice. Um, and I remember we went to see Lewis in Manchester, and that was insane. Oh my God. I think, I think I got. I can't remember if he's got the tickets or I got the tickets, but it was. I feel like she got the tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, for one, and I think I got the tickets for the other, but I can't remember. Okay. Um, but so we went to. Oh, so it was like two separate occasions. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So we went to Manchester for Lewis, mm-hmm. and that was great. And then we went to Liverpool for Dermont. Nice. And um, we got really close to the front in both, which was insane. Awesome. But the one in Liverpool, we had to wait in the station afterwards until like two in the morning for the train. Oh no! And it was. I remember it was like November, and it was freezing and i don't know if you've ever been to liverpool station i've never been to liverpool but unlike some stations where they're all closed in mm. oh no oh no liverpool's is all out in the open all huh? out in the open Fuck and we were just sake. sat there like with a whole bunch of people who'd also all gone to see Denmark kennedy and we were all freezing but it was so so good <laughs> um, um i would like in an instant go see him again because he's just insane nice i'm not really familiar you'll have to play me some like yeah afterwards. i definitely will because like i love him so much right um oh. what was your first concert let's talk about first concerts uh so my first was coldplay oh right right right. but then i've also seen jesse J in the castle remember like oh yeah yeah she was awful Really? Yeah, because she didn't like come on and do like anything else. Was it as bad <coughs> as the um, Tom Jones incident? I didn't see him. No, but you know about the incident. Mm, no. Mate, oh my god, call yourself a Northumberland girl. So I feel like I might know, but you might have to rejob with memory. Yeah. So he came to Castle a while ago, mm. and he <laughs> redacted redacted Castle, <laughs> and um. Yeah, he put on a show, and then there's this one song, I don't really know Tom Jones that well, but um, there's this one song where he sings the words, like, and the lights go up, and then they turned on all of the lights and, like, completely flooded the field, but it totally tripped out the power, and everything shut off, and so then he, like, left and didn't come back on, and then everyone had to stumble home in the dark, what? because none of the stewards had torches. It was a whole, I can't believe you haven't heard oh of this. God. It was a whole, like, controversy. I know I was away when Tom Jones came. I oh, was okay. in another country, so maybe it just bypassed me completely. It was wild. It was in, like, it was, like, all over the news. I remember when Jess Glynn almost came to Anik. Oh, yeah. I can't stand her. I, I saw her one time at Glastonbury, and, like, she was on before someone else I wanted to see, and it was good vibes, you know, I don't really know her music, but she was having a good time, we were bopping around. I just can't stand her songs, because now every time I hear, standing in a crowded room, and I can see your face, I just think of the Jet 2 holiday advert. Oh, God. Yeah. It's like PTSD for song. Fucking music, <clears throat> right. Have you ever noticed that music is literally everywhere all the time? Yeah. Like, we are constantly inundated with music yeah like in the shops on the tv on the adverts on the radio like it's wild yeah but what i also think is interesting is since like <clears throat> spotify and apple music came about mm-hmm. i couldn't tell you what's in the top charts i don't listen to the radio no girl, me neither it's so tailored yeah. to like individual taste yeah i don't i don't bloody listen to them. and the adverts oh <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> not for me disgusting but i love spotify yeah like because it lets you play what the fuck you want, yeah. listen to what you want, and not have to listen to shit songs. Like, sponsor us, please, Spotify. Oh, that would be the dream. Yeah, Spotify, sponsor us, please. We're on Spotify, bitch. We are on Spotify, so they should sponsor us. Yeah. Also, if um, Blake and Miles want to give us a shout out, because we gave them a shout out. I'd like that. I'll, I'll hit them in the DMs. I've never <laughs> met them before. Like, but yeah, you shout out in our podcast. Can you give our podcast a shout out? Yes. They'll be like, yeah, man, of course. Gen Z for Evs. Of course it will. I've got the song stuck in my head, though. Speaking of music, mm. I watched Hamilton for the first time. Oh, yeah. The other week. And it was good. Like, I was a bit confused by some of it. 
We did have a little chat about Hamilton in the previous did episode, we? didn't we? I can't we? remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I can't stop playing the music. Dun, 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 dun. How does a bastard do this? a whore in Scotland. <laughs> Dropped in the middle of the Caribbean for good. Yeah. Nice. What was your favourite song from Hamilton? I really like Wait For It. I like that one too. I don't know why I love it so much, but like... It takes and it takes and it takes. Love doesn't discriminate. That one. I like um, the I wanna be in the room where it happens. Yes. <laughs> That's my favourite one. <laughs> I really also, again, because of TikTok, really like that. And what do we have in common? Where? Oh yeah, we're reliable with, with the, the ladies. ladies. <laughs> they were too many to devour. <laughs> ladies. I See, I, I didn't love that bit because I thought it was a bit misogynistic yeah it is but i liked it because of tiktok no it's like it's a vibe but we're angry about it <laughs> god damn it this we're is a good bop <laughs> i also really like the skylar's the skylar sisters where it's like angelica eliza and peggy and the other one <laughs> peggy's a mood and the one who was literally on one scene <laughs> yeah the one that doesn't want to be there yeah but yeah that's a mood i'm peggy <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you saying you don't want to be here? No, not here, here. I'm happy to be here, here. I don't want to be living. <laughs> yeah, it was more here in like a universal sense. Oh, on an so, astral I'm project. Sorry, I've just had to open the window because it's so. No, that's okay. It's very roasting. Warm. Come on, British summertime. It's because it's going to thunderstorm later, I reckon. Oh, for fuck. The clouds over there look like thunderstorms. I'm so over the rain. Here comes the rain. (laughs) 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 What, music? Yes, music. Can I tell you about my first concert? Yes, please. I went to see um, Paramore at the Metro Arena. (laughs) With Yeah, yeah. Are you surprised? (laughs) No. (laughs) And um, I went with my friend, I went with my mum, and I actually, you know, I don't think the Metro Arena is called the Metro Arena anymore. I think it's called something else now. Yeah, they've renamed it, haven't they? Do you remember what it is? No, Go on should, and look it up. I should Google it while you talk. But yeah, I went to see um, Paramore and my mum took us and she <laughs> she spent like the whole concert you... with her fingers in her ears like this because it was too loud. <laughs> That's so cute. She's so wholesome. I'm um, at the utility... You... Tilly Arena. That's ugly. Why U-T-I-L-I-T-A. can't we just call it the Metro? U-T-I-L-I-T-A. Utility. What the? I don't like it. I don't like it either. Change it back. Who else have you gone to see then? Um, Like at concerts or at festivals? Both. Oh, God. Like a lot. <laughs> yeah, because you've like been a to a lot more than I have. <laughs> yeah. Um, Concert. Oh, my God. I went to see. <laughs> I went to see JLS with my friend once. Everybody in love, and put your hands up. Hey, and honestly, it was it was a vibe. It was a good I'm, time. I'm jealous. Yeah, there was one bit where they um they did a cover of Earthquake. You know that one that's like I predict an earthquake up in here. By, um, Labyrinth. Yeah, Labyrinth. yeah. Come in. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, they had like harnesses on and they lifted them up in the air. That was pretty cool. I've seen the Vamps live. Have you? How was yeah. that? Yeah, they were really good. I've seen Fearless Vampire Killers. Is that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's tight. Oh my god, I've just remembered another thing. I went to see um Frank Aero and the Celebration, which is um he's one of the guys from My Chemical Romance. It was when he was on a break, <clears> when <throat> they were on a break. Um he made like his own band and stuff. And it was great. It was such a good time. But at one point this guy in the audience said, "I love you, Frank." And he just kind of went, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> There's always one festival I've wanted to go to and it's called Barn in Barn in the Yard. Yard in the Barn? I don't know her. Barn on the Yard. And it's like an acoustic festival. Is it a, in a barn on a yard? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. Is it's it small? No. Well, it, it's like more like indie. Right. But not like boy indie. Right. Like country indie. So it's got like okay. um, Tom Walker. It had uh, Tom Grennan. It's mm-hmm. had Dermon. It's had Lewis. Mm-hmm. It's had like Lucy Spranger. Um, um, 
God, who else? Nina Nesbitt. I've seen Nina Nesbitt live and she's nice. insane. Oh my God, that's really cool. She she um, opened for Lewis. Nice. And oh my God, she's amazing. Nice. I'm in love with it. I bet. But yeah, I want to go to Barn on the Yard because it just like, I've wanted to go for years because it just looks amazing. Nice. It's like my kind of music. Your kind of vibe. I know that. <coughs> I, who the fuck else have I <coughs> Oh, bless you. I can cut all of this yeah. coughing out if you I'm, want. I'm just proper dying today. <laughs> oh, honey. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Poem of Faith, I've seen Lily Allen, I've seen Fall Out Boy, I've seen The Pretty Reckless, the? I've seen All Time Low, the? I've seen Bastille the? twice. I've seen Imagine Dragons. Nice. Oh my god, they were amazing. They were, but they went to the O2, didn't they? Uh, no, it was at the Metro Arena. Oh, right. Because I went with Jess and it was the day after the Paris bombings. Oh my god. And they did like the two minute silence because we saw Kieran Scott and Rory, I think, were there. Oh, okay. It was really cool. Nice. Yeah, I would see them again. I can imagine the two minute silence would be really powerful. It was yeah. really moving, like this entire stadium just like completely silent. Yeah, it was very nice. Fucking hell, wow. Who else have you seen? Um Snoop Dogg, as I mentioned before. <laughs> <laughs> um Paolo Nutini, that was fun. Uh yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm you have lived a life that many dream of. <laughs> I've seen Khalees, you know, my milkshake brings all the voices. What to the, the hell? Yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say. I've seen Sheik as well, you know, Sheik, they go, ah, freak out. Le freak, say Sheik. Freak out. <laughs> oh my god, I've only just realised that it's say Sheik, like, it's Sheik. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never look at the I never sit down and look at the lyrics and analyse them and be like, mm, yes. Fair enough. Right. Yeah, are you more into lyrics or are you more into like beat? Well, I'm not one that would like when I'm listening to it, I don't like pick apart the lyrics, but mm. I do pay attention to them. Yeah. So I'm kind of both because like yeah. I as a singer songwriter, mm-hmm. like when I have made music before I've like focused on what the the beat was of like other songs I've liked, but then kind of taken their themes of music, like lyric wise. Oh, that's cool. I'm kind of both. What about you? Um, I don't know. I mean, I love, I love, I love instrumental music. Yeah, I me really too. do. I love listening to film scores. Oh my god, don't. Ugh. I have an entire playlist on my. Spotify. Oh my god, what films are on there? What films are on there? Literally, loads. It's called soundtracks. Nice. Um, if I can find it. Um, Have it's got, the, got um, 613 songs on it. Tight. Over 36 hours of You'll music. You'll have to send me it. Yeah, it's got loads. It's Give me some examples. What films Avengers, have you got? Avengers. Oh, okay. All of the Avengers ones. Captain America, Blood Diamond, Black Panther, Dancing in the Rain, The Dark Knight, um, Doctor Strange, Ender's Game. Oh, Ender's Game. <laughs> That's an incredible sound. I haven't seen. I haven't score. seen it or heard the soundtrack. Score. The score for Ender's Game is insane. I have to check it like, out. Like I really got into like composing, um, soundtracks for a while when nice. I was about fifteen and just studied them continuously for about two hours a day, like listening to different things and picking out what I like. That's really cool. And um, so I've got Fantastic Beasts. Game of Thrones. Oh, God, I've yes. never seen any of Game of Thrones, but the music is insane. Inception, anything from Hans Zimmer. Mm. Interstellar, his soundtrack for Interstellar is absolutely incredible. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm really big into, like, instrumental music. Like, my favourite instrumental composer who's not a soundtrack composer is... I can never pronounce his name, but it's, like, Ludovici Einaudi. Uh, I think it's Ludovico. That's it. Ludovico. We used his music for one of my drama pieces. It was good. Oh, he fucking bus. is amazing. That like, I can play to like the the basics of two of his songs. I like on which piano. ones? Um, Iganori mm-hmm. and Le Onde. Oh, I like lovely. taught myself them by ear with the help of one of my friends when we were about twelve. I That's think. That's so cute. I love um, that. <laughs> but I just soundtracks i don't know what it is about i'm this is the kind of music i would sit and talk about for hours i don't care about mainstream like music that's got lyrics there's just something about okay let's get into the scores there's something about scores i think the first score that really got me invested in listening to scores was um (laughs) embarrassingly enough it was the donnie darko one i've never listened to it it's actually really beautiful so there's that one. Oh, that's my mum. Hi. Hello. 
Um, so yeah, it was the Donnie Darko one. Um, the one that I love at the minute is the Parasite one. You should I not definitely get it. I will listen to. Listen. I think it's called The Bells of Fate. It's, okay. Oh my god, it's magnificent. Um, which one else? Oh, at the minute, um, Portrait of Lady on Fire. I've also not heard that. It's good. You will have heard it if you've been okay. on TikTok. You will have heard it. I can tell you the the first song ever that got me into like instrumental music mm-hmm. was Tubular Bells by Mike <gasps> Oldfield because my dad has the CD of it and it was the only CD he had in his car. <clears throat> so if we didn't want to listen to the radio, we'd put on Tubular Bells and from the ages of about six to 15, I was obsessed. We had to learn to play that in um, one of our classes. Yeah. yeah. We had to learn to play it, I think, in middle school yeah um insane it is an insane piece it's phenomenal like yes yeah. i mean correct me if i'm wrong i'm gonna get shot by all my film friends but it's the exorcist right it i think so should i, should I check it is from a I'm famous drawing a blank yeah um tubular bells what film was you Yeah, The Exorcist. Thank God. Um, I've never watched The Exorcist because I don't like scary films, but like I'd always listen to. I just listen to. The, I watch films for the soundtracks. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. The Harry Potter films, the soundtracks, and that they get better mm. as they go on. Obviously, there's like Hedwig's tune, yeah. which is the stereotypical Harry. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you get into like the sixth film and the seventh film, like Lily's theme tune and the one. The do, 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 do. Oh yes! When there's a battle in Hogwarts, yes, yeah, yeah. No. So it's like, I don't know. I'm just, I could sit and talk about. I just love it. I yeah, yeah, I yeah. I remember. Um, you won't know the scene because, like you said, you haven't seen Game of Thrones. But um, there's this one scene where um, basically something really dramatic happens, and somebody who's kind of been down on their look for a while pulls something <clears throat> very intense and just kind of blows everyone up basically okay cool but it's this really like the opening of the episode is just like 16 minutes of music and like build up and tension and stuff and for one of our drama pieces for like the ending of it we wanted to use that piece of music and so we were all talking about like oh my god yeah i get chills every time i hear it and then the the guy who was in our group was like i've never seen game of thrones so i don't like get it and then we showed him this one scene and he was just like oh my god it's amazing the effect that music will have on anything yeah man yeah like i don't understand how people can be like i don't really like music and films Mm. it makes it it makes the entire atmosphere come like it's yeah have you seen that video that went around on facebook a while ago it was of this woman she was wearing this like beautiful red floaty dress and she was on one of those swings that like goes over a cliff and it was playing all this beautiful music in the background and then it was like this is why you need music because then they took the music away and all you can hear is her screaming (laughs) (laughs) yes i think i have seen it yeah my friend josh who does watch and listen to the podcast hi josh Josh. it's josh's birthday today oh happy birthday josh Josh. he um, it won't be josh's birthday when we release this episode um but he studies film uh, film at salford oh brilliant Um, and he asked me to like listen to a couple of music pieces Mm -hmm. that had come from different films um and tell them like what emotions they like made me feel nice um and he place the sound uh, the the image over it was just a clip from star wars i don't know how oh, okay. i knew it because i've oh, never the seen star wars it. soundtracks phenomenal but it's what iconic like what astounded me is i knew where every single piece of music he was playing where what film it was from nice and like, i knew I, and i knew the scene as well i want to do that test <laughs> <laughs> if i can i'll get him to send it to me yes please i'll drop him a message later on and get him to send it but it was so good it was like the Narnia soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the battle song from Narnia. Oh, I can fuck with that. Don't just... Have you seen um, Her, the film Her, with Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson? No. It's a good film. It's a really good film. And um, the soundtrack for that, um, Arcade Fire did it, and it's... Oh, it's beautiful. It's, I will ooh, give it a listen. Proper, like, melancholy, like... So good. I love the soundtrack from um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, I haven't seen it. It's really good. Um, I, I can't remember who did it. It's like there's a mixture of like um, singing songs mm-hmm. and also like non singing instrumentals. The one nice. I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, the Black Panther soundtrack. Nice. In like very like hip and very good. So um, 
yeah was a big fan of that awesome but i don't know what it is about soundtracks i just i think i like that you don't have to pay attention to lyrics but it can like take you to wherever you want to be yeah fully it's really like immersive captivating emotional highs and lows well, the TV soundtrack to the um, show Flowers as well. That's oh, really, that that's a really beautiful one. Um, Arthur Sharp, who is actually the creator of the show's dad. Interesting. Yeah. I think if I wasn't going into law and I had the like creative capability, yeah, I would want to be like a, a an artist in terms of like making musical scores. I think you have the creative capability. I'm definitely going to get into it once I've finished my degree. Amazing. I'm going to like sit down and make one. But they're actually really hard to make. Oh my god, I bet. I'm not musically talented at all, even though I technically have a grade one violin certificate. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Classical genius. We love it. Yeah, I tried doing it in GCSE, I think. Um, and I've tried a few times, but it's like it's so hard because obviously you need to like um, you need a cadence and all of this kind of stuff. In. I don't know what that is. It's when you change from like one key to another. Oh, okay. So you'll use like I think that's right. It's been a while since I've studied music. Yeah. So don't come at me, people. But, um, <laughs> you play like four chords or something, and then the last chord changes you into a, another key. Oh, okay. Um, so sometimes you'll go from like major to minor or minor to major, etc. Yeah. Or you'll make it a sharp. It's so cool. It's so cool. Tight. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a nerd for music. Yeah. I always have been a nerd for music. It's... What the, the hell is that? It's a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was the pigeon. And the pigeon's looking at me. Hey, oh. Do you want to be a guest on the podcast? Dave? What Come are your on. thoughts about music? What's your favourite film soundtrack? Come on, Mr. Pigeon. Or Mrs. Pigeon. Sorry, don't walk away from me. Or non-gender specific yeah, pigeon. Yeah, or non-gender specific pigeon. Yeah, come on. We've got beans. No, we don't. Don't lie. <laughs> he's, oh, he's thinking about it. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> are we going to keep the same? <laughs> yeah, we are. Come I on. love the way they move. Like, <laughs> oh, oh. Hello. What up, bitch? <laughs> what, what up, Maggie? <laughs> Remember carrier pigeons were a thing? <laughs> I love you. I, I thought you were asking like do you remember like back in our day when carrier pigeons were a thing back in my day before all this tiktok and charlie d'amelio i sent my friends text with a pigeon <laughs> what were we talking about before music <laughs> soundtracks we were talking about soundtracks yeah but i was on a good string of thought and i've lost you're it you're talking about cadence no I'd pass that. <laughs> oh, fucking oh, no. Great. <laughs> That's really disappointing. Not your secretary. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Miss Shadow, control what you do. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that TikTok I said. We were trying. The crown dog. Oh my god. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> he was so cute. <laughs> I only like people that can make music by taking like normal sounds. And they, and they'll like sync it up with like a norm. They'll use like oh what auto tune yeah, and it'll just be like a, and that'll be like the bass yeah, and they use that like, over and over, and then they'll have like the sound of like someone like flicking a switch. They use that trope in TV shows a lot, don't they? Like there's an awkward silence, and then people start to like build it up with like yeah. little things. Like have you seen? Um, you obviously you know about this. You're in film, but they like I didn't realize they went and used like sounds. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Do you know, there's a term for that. Um, they use it in theatre as well. It's called um, diegesis. So you have diegetic sounds, which are sounds that like occur naturally on camera. So say, for example, us talking now in front of the camera, that's a diegetic sound. But if we were to add, say, like a soundtrack or a sound effect, like in post afterwards, like, that would be, yeah. Yeah, like any of the redacted or whatever, like that would be non-diegetic. I didn't know that. That's really interesting. Hey, you learn something new every day. And it's the same with theatre as well. It's like if a sound takes place on stage. There we go. That's a diegetic sound. Maya pouring her water. (laughs) That was an awful noise. Gosh. Maya, we're not making an ASMR episode. (laughs) Beans, 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 beans. This episode has been a complete like train wreck. <laughs> it's so highbrow. 
<laughs> this is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. <laughs> However, we are reaching 40 minutes. So oh, maybe we should no. start wrapping up. Wrap it up. What are you um, shout, shouting out this week? I am shouting out the fact that I'm going to go stay in Jesmond for a little while. So I'm shouting out Jesmond, I'm shouting out Newcastle, favourite city in the world. Can't wait to be back, even if it's just for a little time. That's so exciting. Yeah, we're filming two episodes today. We are, yeah. So Got a few in the bank. Yeah. So, uh, so how long are you going for? A week? Just a week, yeah, yeah. Oh. Just to catch up with a mate. I'm really jealous. Aww. Oh. You come visit if you want. I'll go for a little while. We could go to the Dean. Look at the peacocks. Oh, I want to see your peacock. Go, go. Yeah, peacock. What a throwback. I know, right? Um, yeah, I'll definitely will come down, I think. Maybe. It'll be in the evening, if that's okay. Tight, that'll be fun. Um, but it'll be quite nice to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. So what are you looking forward to, my love? Or what are you grateful um, for? Uh, I don't really know what I'm grateful for this week. I'm seeing Izzy tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to. I haven't that's seen him in a while. That's for, yeah. Um, Give him a love. Which works out well, because I was going to see her like, mid-afternoon, but now I can... See you later on and keep working. Now we're doing two episodes today, blah, 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 yeah. Um, but I think I want to shout Josh out. Okay. Um, Josh is like a filmmaker. Nice. Like a freelance filmmaker. And it's his birthday today, so also shout out for his birthday. What? But I will put his um, Facebook. I think it's just Josh Porter Films. What kind of films does he make? Um, he's currently just finished a ski documentary about Salford Snow because he was president of it for two years. Oh, amazing. And then he's now vice pres. Nice. Um, so he did like a big documentary last year for his like final dissertation thingy or something like that, or just for fun. Yeah. <clears throat> and that comes out tomorrow. Amazing. Um, so it'll be out by the time this episode comes out. So if you all go like follow him on Facebook, it's just Josh Porter Films. Um, and like have a look. That's my shout out of the of the week it's a good we stand our artist friends yes going back to whatever episode the first episode the first one when we were like come a long way baby we have what episode number would this be four yeah because yeah oh god it's because we've done so many and just not we didn't like i know there's a lot that have um, ended up on the cutting room floor we've actually filmed like six or seven yeah but we didn't like them nah I, if, not actually, we, like, we filmed more than that because our first one took us three goes. Oh, yeah. I like this one. I like this Let's one. Let's keep this one. Definitely. Should we wrap her up? Yeah, but in on that bombshell, yeah, don't that's... forget to subscribe to us. Where can they find us? They can find us on YouTube, uh, the University of Oversharing. They can find us on Instagram, at Uni of Oversharing. Search for our podcast on SoundCloud, Spotify and iTunes. Yes, um, we put up some questions the other day and you guys answered and they were really useful. Yeah. So, um, apart from my mum, who was like, <laughs> did you read my mum? I did. She's oh, so Sheila. cute. Yeah. Maybe we should, um, maybe we should have a little look at that in the next one. We do yeah. like a little dive into that. Yeah. Definitely. But thank you so much for all of your feedback and all of your support. We have a brilliant time making these and we're glad that people are enjoying them. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Peace out. Bye. Bye.